Welcome back. Well, the titans of technology showing no signs of slowing down. Alphabet shares crossing the $1,000 mark for the first time yesterday. Just a week after Amazon hit the same milestone. Joining us right now is JMP Securities President Mark Lehman. Mark, great to see you. Good morning, Mark. Thanks for joining us. Tell us about tech. Is that dominating what's happening in terms of investors this year? It's definitely on everybody's mind. There's been, like you said, two stocks that have crossed the strategic $1,000 barrier. But I think the numbers have been quite good. You're seeing an acceleration in terms of products that are coming out. And we've seen a resurrection of the tech IPO market. So tech is a big focus for people. And this, the stocks are performing because the underlying performance is quite good. Yeah, there was some interesting things coming out of the Apple um, uh, Worldwide uh, Conference yesterday, right? Absolutely. I mean, they're maybe playing a little catch up to Amazon's uh, Echo. But there's clearly a lot of excitement around Apple. It's obviously one of the great performers and biggest gainer of market cap this year. But Again, they, they're selling a phone that has uh, great momentum, but more importantly, the apps and the, the, the software part of that business has really uh, accelerated. And I think. Can I ask you a happen. granular question, please, uh, about the, this device, this HomePod speaker that Apple unveiled in terms of the price of it? Did that surprise you? Because it's quite a bit more. It's three hundred forty-nine dollars, and that's almost double the price of the. Uh, the Amazon Echo speaker, and I just wondered if that, if they could, they, they have made their bones on uh, premium pricing, yes. but I wonder if they could get away with it in this case. It's a great question. I mean, like you said, they have made their bones on premium pricing. There is a cachet to Apple products, obviously, that they have garnered, and I think they think they're going to be able to do that. We saw it with, a little bit with a watch. We've seen it with a little bit with their earbuds. We've seen it with a few things. Uh, they've been able to pull off. We'll see. I mean, if it's a better product, they'll probably be able to hold. The Amazon Amazon product's quite good. There's a lot of uh, recognition there, and I think people really, really like it. So to make that kind of leap is, is, is for that kind of price point, the market's a little less at that kind of price point than it was for Amazon's oh, product. I want to ask you two related questions. We um, now have the unemployment rate down below 4.5%. Uh, that's only happened three times in the last half century, and each time there was some kind of boom associated with it. One time was in the late 1990s. We had a, we had a tech stock boom when unemployment was so low. Could we now be at the start of another tech boom? And will it look like the last one if it is? I mean, it's interesting to me that we've got, you know, Amazon going over a thousand, Google going over a thousand. This isn't like the tech boom of the 90s when we had all these startups hitting the market, companies we'd never heard of. These are kind of stalwarts that are really soaring. Well, and they're, and they're earning money and they're, and they're generating revenue. Right. Very different than what we were seeing in the 90s where we were buying stocks because of, you know, hits to the website. Yeah, I, yeah. Listen, there's a couple things there. One is I do think with that kind of unemployment, you are seeing uh, real job creation and you are seeing real innovation. I think we've talked about it on the show. The pace of innovation is actually accelerating. What you're seeing going on in, in all different forms, uh, whether it's autonomous vehicles, whether you're seeing it in VR, AR, whether you're seeing it in the, in the home, frankly, if you're seeing it in, 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 the, in the energy market as well, the pace of innovation. We don't see it in the productivity statistics. That's true, because I think what, what the, I guess the, I wouldn't call it an unfortunate downside, but a downside to technology innovation is it makes, it's a lot easier to make products and a lot easier to make it better. And I think what you're seeing is, is what are you going to do? We have, we have 20 million developers in the world, right? We have 20 million people who can make the stuff. We're not going to have 100 million developers in a few years. We're going to keep it with 20 million. So we've got to make it people more productive. Statistics. There's, there's well, listen, the workforce has got to adapt to the fact that technology doesn't turn around. Once you see that kind of innovation, it doesn't, doesn't decelerate. And I think you're going to see that pace of innovation accelerate, frankly, and you're going to see it in healthcare. You're going to see it in technology. That's not going to slow down because the kind of things that we're seeing, frankly, are faster and better than they were years the, ago. The Apple Watch now can, can, can get your glucose levels. I mean, you know, there's it's so true. much. The, the that's marriage of culture and technology is hotter than ever. That is just a start. Yeah, With I know. this phone and what wearables are going to do for our lives, uh, I just came back from a, a lengthy trip in Israel, which is one of the great producers, I think, of innovation. And you see the kind of investments that are being made in healthcare and being made in technology and being made in autonomous vehicles and other places. I think that pace of innovation is accelerating, and, and, and the workforce and, and the companies, they're plowing forward. Nothing's going to stop them because I think the demand from the consumers is there. So we, got, we have a tech boom coming. I think there is a tech boom coming, and I think we're seeing the, the sprinkles of that right now. Real quick before you go, you mentioned IPOs. Deals have doubled this year. Real strength in terms of IPOs, particularly in tech. Absolutely. So, so three times as many tech IPOs as a year ago, twice as many IPOs for the entire market as a year ago, and the stocks are working. So some of the, 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 the real stalwarts, obviously Snap, a little bit controversial, but a big IPO. Blue Apron filed a, a, a couple weeks ago. You are going to see more deals, and tech is leading the market right now. But does that give you an indication for the broader market? Do you think that shows a healthier 
environment because of all the... I think not only does it show a better market, right? You have twice as many as you ago, but more importantly, the demand is there. And I think the back half of the year is going to be just as impressive. All right, we'll leave it there. Mark, good stuff. Thanks so much for joining Thank us. Thank you. Mark Lehman there. Carol